Phil's creepy vids. Hey there, horror fans. It's your buddy Phil here, and I am finally back with the long-awaited Blu-ray collection where I go through 10 of my Blu-rays and talk about why they're in my collection, blah, 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 blah. But uh, before I do that, I want to give a special shout-out to a YouTuber. His name is Ollie Uncut is his YouTube channel. He does live in Germany, so uh, he does speak German on his channel. But uh, go check out his channel. Give him a sub. He has some awesome statues. Uh, get some really good stuff in. Great YouTuber. And uh, we've kind of sparked up a little bit of a talking online thing. And uh, he's just really, 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 really cool. So uh, give him a sub. I will leave his link in the description below. Once again, his name is Ollie Uncut. And his channel is so awesome. And, uh, yeah, just go check it out and, uh, see what he has to offer. And if you like, uh, what he's doing, hit that sub button. But anyways, we'll get right into it. Uh, I do have 11 that I'm going to go through because there is one double. I usually do 10, but, uh, I'll try and go through these really quick for you. So this is an Arrow release called The Initiation. Came out in 1984 and it has Vera Miles and Clue Gallagher in it. Uh, Vera Miles, you all know from Psycho and Psycho Part 2. But basically, Sorority Pledge have to uh, spend the night in a department store. There's a killer in the department store, and they basically have to spend the night with the killer, I guess. So there you go. That's the initiation. I recommend it if you're into 80s slasher flicks. Next we have Insidious, the first one. This came out in 2010. Uh, possession, demonic, haunting, um, psychics, all the good stuff in a ghost story. Really like the Insidious franchise. This is part one, came out in 2010. Insidious chapter two, this came out in 2013. And uh, it's more of the same. Um, what, what can I say about the Insidious franchise? You all know these movies, so there's not really much to talk about, but I really like them. That's why they're in my collection. So let me know in the chat if, uh, you like them as well. Here's chapter three. This came out in 2015. Once again, kind of same storyline and, uh, really, really good stuff in these movies. So, yeah, Insidious Chapter 3, check it out. And last but not least with that series, we have Insidious The Last Key. This came out uh, in 2018. So, this is the most recent one. A um, little bit of a prequel in this one, I think. I'm not too sure. I've only watched this one once. I'll have to revisit it, though, because I, I did really enjoy it. But uh, this is Insidious The Last Key, a.k.a. Chapter 4, I would say. Next, we have Sam Neill in The Mouth of Madness, directed by John Carpenter. This came out in 1994. And uh, it's funny, the only thing, the only couple special features on this one, this is put out... Uh, this is put out by Warner Brothers... The only special features are the trailer and a commentary by director John Carpenter and cinematographer Gary Keeb. But uh, the commentary on this is really, really boring. They talk about lighting and it's just a really, it's how not to do a commentary for a movie. Uh, so In the Mouth of Madness, Sam Neill. Luckily... Scream Factory just put out the special edition of In the Mouth of Madness and there is a brand new audio commentary with director John Carpenter and producer Sandy King Carpenter and that commentary is excellent so if you're on the fence about which version of In the Mouth of Madness to pick up definitely get the collector's edition from Scream Factory comes with a plethora of bonus features including uh, 
Horrors Hallowed Grounds, um, which is a little series that uh, a lot of these Screen Factory releases have where they go and visit the filming locations of the movie. But uh, yeah, In the Mouth of Madness, Sam Neill, directed by John Carpenter. Check it out, 1994. Next, we have Invaders from Mars. This is a remake of a 1950s movie, and it is directed by uh, Toby Hooper. This came out in 1986. It stars Karen Black. Y'all know Karen Black. There she is right there. But, uh, yeah, basically this kid sees an alien ship land behind a hill in his house, and they're implanting little neck things to control the townsfolk. And uh, yeah, it's it's a really good movie. I really enjoy it. It's kind of cheesy and tacky in some aspects. But uh, the practical effects I really like. The alien effects I really like. And uh, just all over really like this movie. So I do highly recommend Invaders from Mars. And directed by Toby Hooper. Texas Chainsaw Massacre fame. Uh, can't go wrong there. So, Invaders from Mars, check it out. Next, we have a really old one. This one's black and white. This is Invasion of the Body Snatchers from 1956. It stars Kevin McCarthy. And uh, this is what started it all with the pod people. And we're going to take over and clone you and all that good stuff. So, uh, directed by Don Siegel. Uh, also has... Dana Winter in it so all around good classic black and white 19, 1956 uh, horror movie because it's pure horror and uh, yeah check it out highly recommend it next we have this is from MGM I believe the release of invasion from the invasion of the body snatchers this is the remake this came out in 1978, stars Donald Sutherland and Jeff Goldblum, and uh, really, really love the remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Uh, Donald Sutherland in this movie is just great. Uh, there's a very young uh, Jeff Goldblum as a photographer in this movie, and uh, yeah, it's just the effects on it are really good. Some reverse uh, photography in there, and uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely highly recommend Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And once again, this is last but not least, Scream Factory did a collector's edition of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And it is chock full of special features, guys. So if you're like me and you like your special features, this is the uh, edition to go with. Once again, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, 1978. Donald Sutherland, Jeff Goldblum. And uh, let me go. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the movie movies. Excuse me. And uh, I hope everybody out there is having a good October. And uh, that's my time. Thanks for yours. Have a great day, guys. Peace. So if you guys like that video, comment down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And we'll see you in Phil's next video. Peace.